we knew, for example, that Mandela was going to be released. We didn't know the date. But by then, the international climate was such. We had already got uh, the arms embargo through the Security Council. And when the, we knew when Mandela had been moved that they were, go they were trying to make contact with him, also, I suppose Oliver Tambo knew much more about those contacts than any of us, but from his briefings. We knew, for example, because other people had informed me that I kept touch with the financial markets. That was extremely important. Where South Africa was selling gold, the problems they were having, the debt crisis they were in. And the pressure was going to come in the early part of February 1990. So I threw internal links again with journalists. And the fact that South Africa was having a big international investment conference in South Africa, we reported back to Lusaka. Chances are that the beginning of February, they will unban because they had told the international investors, no, no, please come, please come. Something is going to happen. It could only be the release of Mandela that would have changed any international climate. And we were believed. <laughs> I think this was the important thing. You had to have that kind of trust. So I had arranged for somebody in South Africa to fax me a statement that the clerk was going to speak at. They stopped it. But this person was very good. Whatever means he used, I don't know. But I got the statement. <laughs> and I was able to warn the ANC, both in Lusaka and in London. So early that morning, we had a meeting in the office of the chief representative. The person who didn't come was when I said the Communist Party was going to be unbanned and MK, the military wing, was going to be unbanned. And the representative heard this, tell Freni she's mad, I'm not coming to any meeting. <laughs> so they missed out. But this is exactly what happened. The statement had those things. The date of the release of Mandela, I had suggested, and my research people, because I had a whole research network, had to be before the investment conference, if it was going to have any meaning. So when Mandela was not released on the day that uh, de Klerk made his speech. It had to be the following weekend, which in fact it was. 